Hello, and welcome to Autodesk Maya 2015. The purpose of this video is to introduce Maya as well as myself. What you're looking at here is the latest release of Autodesk Maya. It is called the 2015 version. And my name is Todd Palomar, and I will be your host throughout these movies. The main purpose of this particular video is to familiarize you with the core functions of Maya. It is taken from the perspective that the viewer has never worked in Maya before. So we will start with a lot of the very core basics of Maya so that you can get comfortable with it and then kind of explore it also on your own. So you can kind of watch these videos and move forward from them. When we first open Maya, we're presented with these two windows. And this is when we first open Maya in general. We can turn these windows off by unchecking show this at startup on both of these. But these give us just a quick overview of what to expect here and also a few intro movies that you can watch to get up to speed with Maya. We're just going to close these down here. I'll just hit OK and I'll just X out of here. And doing so will cause these windows to pop up the next time I open Maya as well. If you don't ever want to see these, you just want to uncheck those down there at the bottom. We'll just close that. So first, let's talk briefly about what Maya is. Maya is a 3D software package that allows you to create and render three-dimensional elements. It is a complete production pipeline tool. And what this means is that we can create an object from start to finish. Basically, I could think of a car, model it, add color to it, animate the tires rolling around, have it crash into a wall, and have all of that be placed into two-dimensional images eventually in the form of a movie. Maya allows us to create every one of those aspects in order to generate a movie of that type. Maya is used throughout the industry. It's used both in games, films, as well as military simulation, lots of TV advertising, all sorts of different aspects throughout the industry. We start this training series by looking at the interface so we get comfortable with what's going on around us here and all these buttons and tools and separate menus. And then we'll gradually get deeper into the tools. There are some more advanced tools that we will not be covering. We will not show you how to perfect any particular skill during this video series, but we will expose you to a variety of different skills. And this will let you, the viewer, continue on after these videos are complete. It'll give you enough of a foundation that you can build upon it yourself. As you go through these videos, you'll find that a lot of the movies have work files that you can work along with or start from, but some of them don't. And for the most part, the ones that don't are very introductory type videos where you can kind of create it from scratch. So you really don't need any resources in order to go through that particular lesson. Most of the videos here will talk about specific tools. So it's very easy to find topics by the name of the video and it will correspond to a specific tool. Maya is an enormous program. There is lots of different facets to it. It is capable of just about anything you can think of in 3D. So there's definitely a lot to learn. I find Maya to be a ton of fun. There's lots of different things inside of here that are just absolutely amazing. And I think you'll enjoy it as well.